What's up, everybody? We are back. John Della Rose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. I've got a link to my newsletter in the description below. So please go there, sign up, get a free novel, free graphic novel, be on the mailing list. I come out with books very regularly, and it's the easiest way to get in touch with you. And I also send out a uh, digest every week so that you can see the videos because YouTube doesn't always notify and show people things kind of the way of the world now. Newsletter is the most consistent way to get that information to you. I pulled this up this morning because I am friends with John Trent from Bounding Into Comics, which is my favorite news site to look into. And he was talking to me about when he was prepping for this, and he said he worked all day on making this article. So, you know, this is every single redhead comic book character that's been race swapped. And it's almost every redhead comic book character at this point. There is a real just attempt, it's bizarre, at just genociding the gingers out there. It's very, I, I just don't understand the purpose behind it, you know, and, and why they're targeted more than anybody else. Or maybe it's just because gingers are so prominent, it's like it's easy to see when they've all been replaced. But this list is massive, so I want to go through it and just kind of show you some of the stuff because, I, like I said, I know John Trent worked really hard on this. So here we go, the DC character Cyclone from JSA. Up oh, and look at this. Replaced. <laughs> there we go. Look at all the hard work he put into here. Hawk Girl, another another nice uh, ginger from uh, the JSA type universe. And replaced. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Iris West. We're already on Iris West. I missed the uh, the deal. Iris West from Flash. The good the good old days when it was. Ah, replaced. <laughs> Jimmy Olsen, that's right. I forgot they replaced Jimmy Olsen. There we go, Supergirl. You know, I actually really enjoyed this actor, and he did such a good job in that first season that it, it actually didn't bother me. But maybe I'm just getting conditioned for the replacement. I don't know. We're all getting, re we're all getting conditioned, huh? Oh, they did Wally West, too. I never watched The Flash. Wow. Wally West replaced. Starfire. She's an alien, Ginger. And now she's not. <laughs> At least she's not. I am not Starfire. At least they haven't introduced her non-binary child yet into these films. Batwoman, of course. This was this is a stunning and brave recreation that was was built in the early two thousands, as it was, where they took this golden age character and remade her into an LGBTQ WTF type of character. So it's even better if you remove the red hair and make a black, of course. It's about as stunning and brave as it gets. And their in their ratings is is about as stunning and brave as oh, they did April O'Neil. I didn't even know they did this. Wow. Wow. When did this happen? Absolutely crazy. Everybody. Electro. I didn't even know Electro was a redhead. I'm a big Spider-Man fan too. Huh. Is that is he a ginger? It looks like brown hair to me. Nice Ditko art. Cool. Commissioner Gordon, of course. Any any like prominent like uh, authority figure always gets replaced. This is a, always a new thing. There we go. Oh, Heimdall from uh, from Thor. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. See, these are background characters. A lot of time you don't even notice that it's just such a subversive thing that they do just in front of your visual medium that you, you just don't pay attention to it half the time, and uh, that's how they like to slip in the weird replacements in there. Oh, no way. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm scrolling through this for the first time, so <laughs> my reactions are just right off the cuff. This art is just drives me crazy. I hate this stuff. Unbelievable. Ariel. Yeah, I remember when they replaced Ariel. Womp womp. Got to make all the Disney princesses uh, queens and kangs of Wakanda. Oh, yeah. Josie got replaced. There we go. There we go. Her uh, the other character was replaced in the in the movie. So Josie was still there. I don't remember. Uh, oh well, what can you do? That's what they do. Isaac Castlevania. I watched the first episode of that, and I, I saw people watching it for a while. And I was like, this is so degenerate. I don't understand why people are watching this show as it is. Ah, Ripcord from GI Joe. I never watched that movie. 
just didn't find it interesting. I'm not not a big G.I. Joe guy. You ever plays Flash Thompson when they do that? Oh my gosh. I don't watch any of these movies. I'm not a movie guy. That's the that's the thing. Is like I can't sit for two hours and stare at a screen. So I like that he put so much Ditko art in here. Good job, John Trent. I can't sit for two hours and stare at a screen. It just drives me crazy. I, I, I want to get up. I want to get popcorn, want to get a drink or something. I just can't handle sitting there for that long. They replaced Mary Jane. I've not seen any of these movies for real. Oh my gosh. No way. That's what they're doing to Mary Jane these days. Oh my gosh. Look at the John Romita art. As much as I love Ditko, Ditko did not draw pretty women. As soon as John Romita entered the picture, it was just like, hello, smoke show. But uh, I guess we're, we're getting rid of that vibe. Lana Lang, of course. Yep. Womp womp. Yeah, but you know what? Chris and Quirk, of course we knew that she that was done, but can you can you blame anybody for casting Chris and Quirk in anything? <laughs> Alicia Masters. Oh, I didn't see that film either. <laughs> There's so many of these movies I it's like you can't you can't even watch these movies because they're so bad. I don't. I wouldn't even bother. They did Little Orphan Annie. Oh no. Oh, no. how far am I into this article? Jeez. Whoops. What's going on? We're not even like. There's a lot. I'm done with this. Uh, this deal. <laughs> we can scroll through this too. I'll put the link in the description. I guess I got all the way there. This is crazy. I mean, just the, just the sheer amount. This isn't like one or two. This isn't uh, this isn't like you know three or four. This is a ridiculous amount. I mean, we just went through seven minutes of scrolling through one web page of all these characters getting replaced. It, it's obviously a concerted effort. It's obviously some sort of psyop tactic. It, it's just like to what end? Like why? What did the redheads ever do to them? So it's probably it's probably like you know males who couldn't get a redhead date or something like that. Who are just like lashing out in, in their subconscious by doing this and then thinking that they're like you know doing some stunning and brave diversity deal along with it but one place you don't have to worry about that in i should mention is my books uh, i make my characters they're my characters from the start they're never going to change they're never going to uh just you know completely abandon the way that they were before they're always going to stay the same and that is why you should just follow writers and not follow quote, brand characters. Writers actually, you know, create the characters for, usually for an intention. They keep them that way. And you don't have these weird fan fiction guys who are trying to, like, do their weird agendas on anything. So if you if you like steampunk, and this is uh, one of my better books, it's good. It's, you know, it's my, they're all good. This is my most nationalistic book, I'd say. So if you're into that, uh, go check it out on my Indiegogo. Pick up a book. You can go right here. So steampunk novel. Pick up the first book right here uh, for Steam and Country. Or you can go through actually and grab a discount and get all five uh, of the books that are out right now. There'll be a sixth out next year. And this is, uh, you'll get a, a, a deal off. You basically get one book free out of this. And support the channel. Enjoy good fiction. Don't worry about characters that are going to get replaced because they're still going to be here and they're going to be your friends forever. I'm here for you guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this. Is there some weird conspiracy going on, or is this uh, is this just a bunch of isolated incidents, and you know it's not really intended? I don't know. I can't tell, but it, the evidence is is starting to get a little uh, up there in terms of an actual conspiracy. See you guys.